everybody. So today I'm going to make some chili and some cornbread and so I'm going to be using things, uh, food I got from the food pantry and I'm sorry I'm looking over here. I mean to look over here. But yeah, it's just going to be a real simple meal. But before we do that, since God has told me to continue on with my YouTube channel, I would like to put him first and foremost. So if you can bow your heads and pray with me, that would be great. I greatly appreciate it. So, dear Heavenly Father, I pray that this video reaches whomever it needs to reach, maybe to inspire somebody, to uplift them, or to bring them some kind of joy or something in their lives. Maybe encourage one another and uplift everybody. Uplift one another, I should say. May my followers, my viewers, be surrounded by your love and your grace, Lord. And may they be blessed. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Sorry, guys, I'm not good at praying. I, uh, I get kind of nervous when I pray for others. But, yeah, that's just me. So, anyways, yes, today I'm going to make a simple chili and cornbread uh, meal. And I'm going to use food that I got from the food pantry the other day. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post a link down in the description box. And you can go watch it after this video. Alright, so let's get started. So for this recipe, I'm going to use some ground beef. That's from the food pantry. Some uh, cayenne pepper. Some, ground, some onion powder. Garlic powder adobo love this stuff some black pepper some red kidney beans two small cans of tomato paste some diced tomatoes and of course first off i'm powder. gonna go ahead and cook up the ground beef until it's done And I'm going to add some garlic seasoning and some onion powder. I probably could have waited till I, you know, make the actual chili, but eh, why not? Some chili and cornbread. And now that the beef is done cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add the kidney beans that I strained. You don't have to strain the kidney beans, but I like to. And I'm also going to go ahead and add the diced tomatoes that I also strained. Like I said, you don't have to strain them, but I like to just to get rid of the excess salt. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the tomato paste. And now that the tomato paste is in there, I'm just going to mix it up the best that I can. You know, incorporate everything together. This is really hard to do with one hand. And I'm going to go ahead and add six cans of water using the tomato paste can. So for this recipe, you're going to need a cup and a half of cornmeal, a cup and a half of flour, and use a little bit of baking powder, two, bu uh, two sticks of butter, some uh, vanilla, and evaporated milk, and oh yeah, I forgot the sugar. I'm going to need the sugar. So what Here's I'm going to do is I'm going to add my dry ingredients to this large uh, red bowl here and then in a smaller bowl I'm going to do my wet ingredients like the butter that I'm going to melt, the evaporated milk, the uh, vanilla and so on and so forth. 
And right now I am mixing all the cornmeal, the flour, the sugar, and the baking soda together. And then like I said, in a small bowl, I'm gonna add the evaporated milk, the melted butter, add the eggs, and the vanilla extracts. It's not safe for you to drink. Eeks! I think I should have used a bigger bowl. Oh my gosh. Eeks! I'm going to try to mix this without spilling it. I don't know how successful I'm going to be. Oh my gosh. My anxiety is high. Now that all of the ingredients are stirred up, I'm going to add the wet ingredients to this dry ingredient bowl. And now I'm going to go ahead and mix everything up to the best of my ability using just one hand. I want to mix everything until all the clumps are out. And now I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And I'm going to grease a 9 by 13 inch pan, I think it is. I'm not sure. And yes, my hands are clean. And now I've just added the batter to the pan and I'm going to spread it out as evenly as possible. And when you bake this in the oven, you're going to want to bake it for 35 to 45 minutes. Well, it actually looks like the cornbread didn't come out the way I thought it would look. But it was actually just as tasty. And here's the final product. Well, that's all for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, to follow me for more content, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.